I just changed out this cap and I'm gonna call this done. I'm so happy with how this amp sounds and how it came out. And uh, if, if the current owner of Steel String Singer number two isn't happy with the tone and with like a, a single amp that uh, is well rounded, hint, hint, John Mayer, um, maybe try these two caps. That'd be pretty cool. I can uh, walk your tech through uh, the, those changes. Why not take a $200,000 dumbbell and just do some things that some guy on the internet told you to do? See if it sounds better. Makes sense to me. All right, so I'm putting the final touches on this amp and I'm sort of going into uncharted territory, but I'm very confident with the results. And if, by the way, you see some garbage stuff over here, uh, that's just flux. I've used some flux cleaner this time around, and it sort of moves the flux around, and I, I put a brush in there, and I clean it off the best I could. But there is some residual residue. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> so this amp sounds great. And you got to remember that the intention of this amp, built in the late 70s, um, you know, high-powered speakers were just coming out. The intention of this amp, original, the original circuit, is to be as loud and clean basically as possible uh reasonably you know obviously if you can control how much gain and how much preamp distortion you get through here so th this is a very clean knob and then you can just you know dial up your level the way you want or you can you know dirty up the preamp and have a low <clears throat> um sort of output or you can crank them both and get the Stevie Ray Vaughan thing going on um but you know, to today's standards, with a lot of bedroom players and low volume sort of environments, uh, this this amp does play well in low volumes. What the what the problem is, in order to achieve that loud sort of loud, very loud without distorting both the output, um, you know, tubes and the speakers of the day, uh, these decoupling caps were 0.01 microfarad. And that's going to roll off some bass. So what I did is I started off with this one. I changed that one out with a .02. Um, and then I was getting pretty favorable results. I was definitely heading in the right direction, right? So there was a little bit more bass without having to crank up the bass all the way. A little bit more lower um, harmonics were you know, below 80 hertz. A lot of that was starting to come in play. So I said, all right, well, that sounds pretty good. Let me just try this one over here. So there's basically two decoupling caps that take your DC and then make it um, AC only. This is one of them, very important. And then here's the other uh, location where the other one is. And be, if you remember in electronics class, or I'm going to teach you now what I learned in electronics class, is that uh, capacitors in parallel is additive capacitance. Okay, so I have 2.01s. Well, guess what? 2.01s equals 0.02. So for a quick temporary test, you can see that I soldered um, these legs in place for this test. I plugged it in, and and wow, there's a there's a lot more bottom end. This amp feels pretty well rounded now versus the original intention of of being pretty bright. Uh, for you John Mayer fr friends out there, um, if the circuit is the same. Uh, as John's, you'll notice that he, you know, sort of had to come up with a JM SIG to fill in that bottom sort of tone. This, these two changes, brings me pretty close to a very well-rounded amp. Um, and in evaluating how two rock you, uh, and in studying the two rock style st uh, steel string singers, they use .02 as well. So I, I feel like this is a pretty accepted modern sort of tone uh achievement if you will it's been unlocked tone achievement unlocked so i sort of wanted to educate you guys my next step is i'm going to unsolder this put a real uh just a single 0.02 uh microfarad cap and call this one absolutely complete um so excited i got a new switch i keep on blowing these switches uh please still use the one in my bomb I'm going to give this one a test drive a few more times before I recommend the switch. But thank you, Bamba, for pointing this exact model number out for me. Uh, it's been working out well so far. 
considering I got 400 and something volts going through it. Um, hope you guys are all doing well, and we will catch up very soon.